Let's explore the print function a bit more in order to get a better feel for some Python syntax. And at the same time, we'll introduce a new variation on strings. So specifically, we'll talk about the new line character. So what we've seen before with print is that it can take any number of arguments. So let's repeat some of that here. We could have print with no argument. Uh, there's nothing between those parentheses and we hit return and just get a blank line. Now let's try print with a single argument. So in this case there is indeed one argument but the argument is the empty string. There's no text between those quotation marks. And when we hit return, same thing, just a blank line. Let's try one more single argument with just a bunch of blank spaces. So in this case, we get one argument. And hit return, and can't tell any difference here from the previous two outputs. It just looks like a blank line. There were blank spaces on that line, but we can't tell the difference. So let's go back to something we've seen before. Let's go with hello space world as our one argument. And when we hit return, we get hello space world. Now let's try the two argument form that we've seen before. Let's go with hello as a first argument, that's one complete string, comma, and then in quotation marks we put world. Okay, so now we have two arguments. And when we hit return, the output appears identical to the previous output. So now we could ask, well, why? Why are these two outputs the same? For that first hello world output, we had a single string and there was one space between the hello and the world. Now, with the second hello world output, we had two arguments and when we called the function, we put a space between those arguments. Was that space significant? So let's try this. We have hello, comma, and then how about I put a whole bunch of spaces? And then world. So this also has two arguments. Just happens to be a lot of spaces in between there. And now let's hit return. So Python ignores all those spaces between the arguments, but do we need at least one space? Well, let's try uh, eliminating any space and see what's ha what happens. So let's write print hello is our first argument and then no space. Our second argument is world. And hitting return, we see that uh, the output is the same as we had before. So it doesn't matter if we have many spaces between the arguments or no space between the arguments. To Python, it's all syntactically the same. By default, a single space is always placed between the output values, regardless of the amount of space we have between the arguments in the function call. So for the sake of readability when writing code, it's typical to put one space between arguments in the argument list. But keep in mind that that space is unrelated to the space that appears in the output. Now let's call the print function again and we'll give it a single argument, hello, but we'll garble it a bit. Let's put slash n in there and then world and close the string down. So once again we have one argument but now we have some weird text in that string. And what happens when we hit return? Well my guess would be that we would see hello slash n world. So let's hit return and see. And well no, my guess was wrong. We get hello and then a new line and then world. So that slash n disappeared. But uh, really it, it didn't disappear. It created the new line. So the fact that we're seeing a new line there, something told the computer to start a new line. And slash n 
is actually a way of writing new line. It is the new line character. So it terminates the current line and starts a new line. To demonstrate this further, let's start with a clean screen and let's call print with a single argument, but we'll make it slash n, hello, then slash n, then another slash n, and then let's get the world in there. Slash n, close the string down, close parentheses, and when we hit return, here's what we get. So the question is, how many new line characters were in that previous output? And you might want to pause the video for a second and think about that. So there are a few possibilities here. You might say at first, well, there were four slash ends in that string, so there are four new lines. Okay, or you might look at the output and say, well, I see three blank lines, so maybe there were three new lines in there. But don't forget that the hello was terminated by a new line. We started on the next line, but just had a blank there. And the world was also terminated by a new line. And in fact, that print statement generated five new lines. There are the four that are embedded in the string itself. And then, by default, print will tack on a new line to the end of its output. So we've actually seen this behavior before. If we just say, hello, world, as the string. We haven't put a new line or a slash in there. And when we hit return, we get a new line. We get the interactive prompt back on a new line. And we'll be able to better demonstrate this in what we'll see in the next video.